is going guys welcome back to another video I know I said that uh, it was gonna be on the first I just couldn't make the first I'm so sorry about that but welcome back to a brand new video aka the 500 sub Q&A and today I'm gonna be answering some of your questions and I'm going to make sure I get to every single person who's left a question for me to answer so you know who knows maybe your question will be answered no if you had a question and yes it was going to be answered so Without further ado, without fin any tally wanker, we're gonna move right on to this. All right, so our first our first question comes from Celeste. What anime character is best boy? I don't really know. I probably should have moved over. So here, I gotta focus. All right, so here's the question. I don't know how to answer that one. Like I I really don't. Cause like I'm not a huge anime person, really. So, sorry about that. Next, uh, this one comes from Ladies Potato Chips, or in this case because it's on Discord, Nico Horches, Hornies or whatever. Um, do you think that mashed potatoes are Irish guacamole? Um, why not? I mean. There ha they have guacamole over there, I'm pretty sure. I'm not Irish, so I wouldn't know. We gotta wait for a Swish to come out. Which, by the way, the time of this going up is on a Saturday, which means Swish came out yesterday, and that is hype. So, I can't really answer that one either. I mean, I personally would think that's kind of interesting because it's potatoes and, you know. But I'm pretty sure that's not that's what Ireland is known for. Anyhow. <clears throat> uh... This, I forgot who put it up because, you know, account getting deleted soon. So I'm so sorry. You can claim that question in the comment section below. Um, we have, what are your goals for the channel? And are you going to be doing a Q&A for the 1K as well? Um, the answer, the goal is, you know, grow, expand, get to meet as many of you as possible. You know, just become as nice of a community as possible. Build up and, you know... Hopefully one of these days I can make a living and, you know. As for the second part of the question with the Q&A, am I going to be doing a, you know, question and answer for 1K too? No, because I did one for 100, now I'm doing one for 500. I kind of want to change it up a little bit. So, and I, I have plans for what I'm going to do for uh, the 1K. And it's not going to be a Q&A, unless, of course, I can't think of anything else. But chances are no. I don't want to do it th the third thing in a row because it kind of gets repetitive after a while. Anyhow, so yeah. Um, another question from Nico. What? This question is actually going to be a serious one. What is your questions? Wait, what are your dreams when you first started the channel? Um, when I first started the channel. It was actually kind of funny because I used it kind of like as an editing dump, I guess you can say, which is no longer on the channel. It was just pretty much me, like, messing around and doing this, that, and the other. I didn't really want to do it. And after a while, like, you know, because I, I just needed, like, an outlet. And that's what it became. And then eventually just manifested, and I started getting more people interested in And then, you know, we started growing as a community. So, that's what that is. I start, I, I really did not originally start and be like, I'm going to do it this way. That was about a year after that I started actually doing content like that. So, um, what was the other part? Um, or, or your dreams. The dream part of that, like I said, the th previous question. Probably just to grow and be able to, like, mature the channel with you guys. This is a very heavily community-based channel. Like, you guys are the ones, the ones that come first. That's why I love doing these Q&As so you, know, you guys can know what goes on in my mind, how I feel, and stuff like that. Now, you might, and also, you guys probably think, why is he sitting over here? Because this is going to be like the question area. Question area there. Anyway. <clears throat> Next question. Another one from Celeste. The favorite food to make. My favorite food, uh... It's not really a food. It's more of a drink. I make this really amazing hot... Like, peppermint hot chocolate with some whipped cream on top. <laughs> like, what I do is I go and, like, make some hot chocolate, of course. And I go and mix up some crushed up peppermint inside of the thing. Let it kind of dissolve inside of it. Mix it up. Let's go like that. And then I just go and take some whipped cream, spray over it. And then after that, I go and sprinkle it with some more peppermint. 
and it's just amazing. I'm really good at doing that because I have like special things I put in it that I'm not going to tell you guys. And for food, um, I like making these like I make these special waffles. Like I put like you know like M and M's and stuff in there. It, it's fun. I I'm really big with the sweet stuff. If you guys can't tell already, but uh, yeah. Next question from Hylian J. When are you coming to PAX West? Whenever the heck I can afford to get out there. And I have a place of my own and stuff like that. Next. <laughs> Another one from Nico. Um, are you planning on playing other games than Pokemon that will be a series? If so, what other games are you playing on, planning on playing? Well, he, the thing is... I was actually thinking for the channel to go out I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this expand outwards like probably be a do it like I, ugh, hold on. I'm tripping over my own words for a second my plans is probably to go and you know eventually switch over to twitch and then start streaming other type of games and stuff like that and then uploading them on the YouTube and being like stream highlights and stuff like that but I kind of want to go in like circle this channel around like Nintendo based stuff like you know like Luigi's Mansion and solely Pokemon kind of kind of things but uh, if I had to go and like choose another series I would probably put on the channel that's not in Nintendo related and stuff like that I mean I got I mean I had to sit here and think about this for a second um this music's cute this music's awesome I put a little playlist together before this, so it plays in the background. Um, what would be one series I put on the channel aside of any Nintendo content? I mean, I I was really liking Eve for Fright Week. I would probably use that and like make a continuation of the series that way. Um, this one comes from Fancy Teal Fishies. Do you know how to pronounce my username now? Now? No. <laughs> Next up. For Tori Zard. Um, she put. Alright, I'm doing this right. Will you ever do vlogs? And the answer is actually quite simple. Um, I do them. I actually do do vlogs. They're actually on the channel. I have an entire playlist. So, I mean, if you want, you can go and check those out. And, uh,. One of them was actually a really funny one. I was just like ranting about all these Fritos and stuff like that. It's probably one of the most popular vlogs on the channel, actually. So, um, next we have from Electro Ghetto, which is, what is your favorite song? Um, I don't really have a favorite song. I have multiple favorite songs, but one of my favorite artists is actually, um, Nate wants to battle. Like I listen to pretty much every one of his stuff that he puts up. So probably one of his songs as of now. Um, next up, we have from Celeste. This is one I really want to like dig into because this is actually a really personal story of mine. And she put, "Who is the Poketuber who inspired you to start your channel? If there is one." So I mentioned a while ago that I didn't really start with the intent of doing it. I kind of started it with just like a, oh, well, this is just a place to upload my videos to get some, you know, like, remove some space, kind of get some practice and stuff like that while I can also keep what I did. Um, but the Pogo Tour is honestly uh, original 151, a.k.a. Vinny. Um, I was honestly, back in the day, having a very dark place. I was stuck in like a really dark place and I don't even I honestly had no idea how much longer I would have been able to keep going. I'm trying to like figure out how to like go without saying too much. And like I've done things I wasn't proud of and I honestly had no idea how much longer I would have been able to go. And then eventually I found started finding real joy and stuff like that in his videos and you know I it was my his videos was literally my outlet I'm kind of tearing up a little bit oh my god so after that you know one thing just happened with another I was just like you know I'm probably going to get a lot more you know his videos became my outlet it was a chance for me to go and like laugh and just be happy like 
And honestly, I owe everything to Vinny. <laughs> Crying, oh my god. Got, got a... And um, he kind of just inspired me. You know, I saw how much fun and how happy he was doing it. And that's whenever I started. So, really, his his channel both saved my life and impacted me to continue with something, doing something that I loved. And I honestly can't wish for anything more. So, if you're watching this somehow, Vinny, thank you so much. I really highly appreciate you. If you can't tell, because I'm over here tearing up again. So, I hope you got that answer. And that was kind of, like I said, it's really personal to me, because... You know, it's it's just a really personal and touching story, and I try to kind of, you know, I I don't like thinking about it, but yes, original 151 is the person who inspired me to go and do what I do. Um, all right, <laughs> so start moving on from that and try to get back on like a serious note. Mega put on. What is the worst Pokemon in your opinion? So, and I asked him, I was like, you know, competitive wise, design wise, what do you need to do competitive wise? <sighs> oh boy. Well, I'm not really a big competitive player, per se. But, I don't like Stunfisk. It's just. I, I don't know. It, it has a decent move pool, but not really the stats to back it up. So, it falls short from that. Most hated is probably going to be a Lugia or Dunsparce. And I have very um bad situations when it comes to Lugia. Sorry, like it got me teared up from the last question, so I'm just trying to like recover from that. Um with Lugia it just almost put an end to my last Nuzlocke before a Pearl and Leaf Green and the extreme randomizer that I did. It almost put an end to that. It killed like half my team and went through it like that. And then every time I battle him on showdown, I just rage because he stalled me out so much. So, I mean, but it, I mean, in the move pool, move set wise, you know, Lugia has pretty decent competitive wise, I guess I can say. I just hate it because of backgrounds and stuff like that. Also, the music playing right now, I'm going to go and shout her out. It's Glitch X City. I, like I said, I put the playlist together using her music and her music solo. So, if you want to go check her out, go check her out if you have not, for some odd reason, heard of her. Um, Celeste said, how do you like your marshmallows cooked? Um, really, however, I mean, if you go and make... There was an ad playing, and I really hope... I do not get it taken down because of that stupid ad. I didn't catch it fast enough because I'm caught up in answering questions. Um, this video is already about 15 minutes long. Um, anyhow, marshmallows. Uh, for marshmallows, I don't really know. I pretty much eat them however the heck they're cooked. So, I mean, if it's burnt, I'll eat them. If it's cooked perfectly, you know, golden brown and stuff like that, I'll eat them. So, yeah. Next question is from Steel. Um, what do you think is the cutest animal? Um, a Fennec Fox. Here's a picture of a Fennec Fox. That thing is adorable. I love it. Alright. Um, Osh, Oshkosh had a very good, um, question here. Osh said, what is, um, what is the series you had the fun the most fun making. Um, completely made was actually going to be Leaf Green. So, like I said, it was crazy going through the first extreme randomizer ever, and I just had like a really fun time. It was a moment of serious growth for the channel. Like it was a moment I, I was actually starting to get out there more and grow as a channel. So we have that fact that a lot of the community came through Leaf Green. I was able to branch out to people and stuff like that. Not only that, it was just a lot of funny moments. If you haven't seen it, I recommend that you go out and watch it now. You know, the, and there's a playlist for it too. So I recommend Leaf Green. I mean, it's, the audio quality and stuff like that isn't the best, but just like the moments in particular is like really deep to me, and just funny in a whole. And then another one from the account that's getting deleted. 
um, are you going to do a live let's play of sword or shield um no I will not be or at least for a very long time but I do want to go and do some shiny hunting in it next year so that's something that you guys can keep your eye out on some sword and shield shiny hunting because you know I'm going to get ca hopefully get a capture card from Christmas so we have that to look forward to and then another question from Mega what evolution do you hate the most um evolution oh boy um from any mon in a hole I'm gonna have to think of this one for a second believe it or not I'm not a huge fan of Charmeleon I mean I know that's like a huge like what I mean there's nothing wrong with it I'm just not a huge fan of the design like the like the weird little horn spike thing on the top of the head I, I don't know I'm just not a huge fan of it but I get the whole you know evolution phase it's that one of those awkward odd out evolutions Alright, and that actually will wrap it up for our Discord ones. Now I'm going to move on from onto Twitter into the Twitter. That's the uh, few Twitter questions I got. Another one from Tori Zard. What motivates you? Is my question. Um, music. Actually, music does a lot of motivation on me in a whole. For example, like. I don't know if you could could hear it as well as I could because I have it in my headphones and stuff like that. But during the question with the, uh, you know, with I was kind of explaining the kind of background as well with me and what got me into it and you know with Vinny and stuff like that. Um, I was tearing up and like the music behind me had like a very big influence on my mood. So, you know, usually if I want to like get hyped for a video or something like that, I go and listen to a mood. You know, drink some. Some energy drink and then I'm good to go like that's what motivates me and then you guys of course you know like oh well I'm doing it not for me for you guys because again you guys are a very big driving force in the channel and to the next one we have Nicole J joy I'm so sorry joy um, what made you decide to do YouTube and what tips could you give to somebody who's starting off to find their way on the platform? Alright, so... Um... I kind of went through that question prior. With, you know, what kind of inspired me to do YouTube and stuff like that. I kind of don't want to get back into it because I finally stopped tearing up. But tip-wise... Um... I'm going to say... Don't give up. No, just don't ever give up. You still have a long way to go. If you feel like, oh, well, I'm not growing like I should be and stuff like that. Growth is not everything, all right? If you are starting your channel, I'm going to not, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard the first, you know, 100 subs to kind of get out there, get situated in the community and stuff like that. Or what, with whatever you're doing. Next year is for anything. So, you know, just never give up. Work with your tags, thumbnails, titles, things like that. Never give up. You know, re don't wait for people to come to you. Go out and reach out to others. You know, if you know for a fact that you will need help, don't, wor don't be afraid to go out there and find somebody to help you. That's what happened with me. I went out, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I had to go and eventually go out and search for people. And then this channel started getting better and you guys started coming over to support me more. So that's what I recommend. You better focus, camera. Thank you. So, you know, never give up. If you need help, which you will need help, trust me, go out there. Look for people to help you out. You know, don't be, and don't get, you know, don't get upset if people are like, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Just keep looking, you know, don't get, don't be afraid to meet people, is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Because people will come in handy with helping you as a community grow and meet more people and stuff like that. So I hope that's a few tips. I mean, my boy Hoops has a video for his 100k. He kind of went through that and went more into depth for that. 
So if you haven't seen it, I kind of go and recommend that you also check that out. I've been, I know I'm plugging a lot in this video, but at the same time you guys are asking the questions, I'm just answering with how I personally feel. So, you know, if you want more information, I would go and recommend checking out Hoops 100K video. Um, Jonas, he put out, what is your goal? What are you striving for? Um, this is like the third or fourth question that kind of was asked with, you know, involving that. What, am I, what I'm striving for is pretty much to grow as a community, grow as a family, and just, you know, be there with you guys. We, you're, we go through this journey together. Whether you guys kind of want to admit it or not, you guys drive this channel. You got, I couldn't do this without you guys. And that's that's the truth. That's why you guys are such a strong driving factor in everything that I do. You know, everything that I do is for you. And I just want you guys to know that. Alright. Now we're going to go into the few uh, YouTube questions for this. Um. So this one we have a uh, bit of a dump. We have Brave and Burton. Congrats, my guy, a little late, but here's the questions. What is your favorite video game of all time? That's the first out of the three. So, my favorite video game is probably Platinum. And I ha it was one of my first, you know, games I legally owned in my, you know, like, I would play other games, but it was... No, 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 hold on. Okay. All right, we're good. Sorry, I was afraid there was going to be, like, copyright stuff. I'm like, oh, God, no. Um... <laughs> These ads, these YouTube ads, man. They'll get you every time. Um, uh, so, what is your favorite video game of all time? Platinum. Because, like I said, it was my, my first video. Was, I mean, games I've earned and owned in my life. So, you know, it's kind of personal to me. Um, and that's probably why I love Sinnoh so much. Uh, question number two from Braven. What do you do out of school and YouTube? Not much, actually. I mean, I work on any graphics and commissions that I get, you know, told for, stuff like that. Um, kind of just, you know, hang out with some friends if they're available. I don't really have a life. <laughs> and question three. What is your favorite moment that happened on the channel? If it's too hard to name, name a few. All right, so my favorite moments, I just dropped something on the ground. Um, my favorite moments of the channel. One of I know one of them for sure was back in the very first Nuzlocke ever on the channel. It was red, and it was like one of the special cases of red that had every mod up to like Gen Six in it or something like that. And I kid you not, you could go and look during that. You know, you look at it, proof if you want. I went and the first encounter on the one route was a Zekrom. And legendaries just in red alone, in Gen 1 alone, are very hard to catch because, you know, you're just throw the ball and it'll miss. So, I went out, and I had my one mod, I swapped it out because, you know, I didn't want it to get electrocuted and stuff like that because it was super effective against me. So, as soon as I swapped out, I went and I also threw a ball. Very first great ball. Full health is Ekrom. Bump, 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 ting. I went crazy, man. I absolutely went crazy crazy um I know that was one another I would say is oh boy um I'm, I'm trying to think sorry um I mean that that's the most fond one that I had probably close calls and those locks throughout the every nose like I did because there was a moment that I knew for a fact things were going to get very bad you know but then you live on one it's just like a a redeeming quality for the Nuzlocke because you could be like oh no my MVP is about to die and then they live and then of course probably my most fond one is meeting all of you and I can't wait to continue meeting all of you as I go and we grow as a community and again thank you so much for 500 I can't wait to get to 1k and you know maybe one day meet you everybody out there um next up we have 
Sticky Keys. Congrats on the 500 subs. Question. What are your favorite YouTubers, big or small? Oh, boy. Um... Obviously, Vinny, for reasons I've already went through, would you stop all these ads? God, that's a problem with having it. <sighs> that's the same ad? Okay. <laughs> that's a problem with having this. It don't always work, and there's just so many ads. Anyway. So, favorite YouTubers. Um, I'm a really big fan of Graysteel Plays. Markiplier, you know, Graysteel plays Markiplier, uh, Jack, Septikai, obviously. Um, um, those are a few uh, big, big name YouTubers that are like you know, multi million subs. And I'm going to go and look at as small YouTubers. I mean, oh yeah, but obviously you know, Hoops, Ruffled Rallet, so on, so forth. You know, Vinny, but you know that those are just a lot of my favorites. There's just so many to count, choose from, so I'm sorry if I left anybody out. Um, for small ones, like I said, I'm only going to pick three because there's so many of you guys to name, and I'm going to name anybody under 500. And, well, not 500, 5,000 and below. So, I mean, obviously we have TJ, we have Tobin. Um, let me go and look, because I had this typed up before, so let me find it. Um, you know, TJ, Tobin, Keo, um... Looking, because like I said, there's so many of them I can I can name. It's just I'm gonna be unfair to you guys, so I'm gonna have, have to end I have to end up leaving out some of you guys. Um, you know, of course we have Mac. Pretty much all of you guys, because a lot of you guys are also small YouTube creators of yourself. That's why I'm doing this to kind of like give you an idea of what's I'm like and what you guys can do to continue and move on. So, you know, but those are just some people that I went and just throw off the top of my head. Um, back to the questions. Fishies put out two questions. What is your favorite bird and what is your favorite fish? Um, I'm not actually a huge fan of fish, per se. This video is already going on a close to 30 minutes. So, holy crap. There's a lot of questions I have to answer. But... Favorite fish, um, I don't know many fish, but I like, like, a red grouper or a, you know, like a, like a, like a salmon. Those are pretty cool fish. Um, for a bird, it's gotta be a red-tailed hawk, because it's easily one of my favorite animals in the world. So, you know, red-tailed hawk and a salmon, I guess. Um, this is one of the last ones, second to last one that I have here. Persona Chaos. Question. What made you continue YouTube and how does 500 make you feel? Also, by the way, congrats on 500. Um, there's a lot of people who are just, you know, kind of having identical questions with, you know, what made you do YouTube? What made you continue YouTube? Stuff like that. And obviously the answer is you guys. You guys are the what, what makes me continue to grow because I just, I can't wait to meet more of you guys and, you know, just grow and mature as a channel and a person with you. Um, and for f what 500 makes me feel, it makes me feel good because that's the halfway point of getting monetized. And when I get monetized, I could do more for the community. And I could go and donate and give out more to people who obviously deserve it, like you all. So, you know, 500 makes me just feel absolutely great. All these ads. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to do a Q&A here. I, I, I didn't I did I didn't take part on the fact that, you know they were gonna have a freaking ads on YouTube. Duh. Anyhow. Last question before I wrap this up. From SM twenty two. Congratulations for five hundred, my dude. I'm so happy for you. Question, what made you start YouTube and which project did you worked on as your favorite? Oh boy, well this is actually interesting because we just had this question a few back. Um, you know, what made me start YouTube? 
I kind of went into the whole Vinny situation earlier in the video. So you might want to rewind and find that question and now give your answer because I don't want to cry again. And what my favorite project was so far on YouTube. Um, the edgy lock for it by far because I could finally be able to go and, you know, do things with you guys. My very first live series, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. That and Leaf Green. Those are my favorite questions. So, I guess this is the end of the Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you could, maybe you learned a little bit more about me, how I came to be, different things like that. A little bit of tips that you could use yourself. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I love you guys so much. And again, thank you so much for 500. I can't wait to get to 1K and grow and keep growing with you guys. And, you know, without further ado, I love you all. Stay shocking. I do.